Hi, my name is Jenny and I'm from Houston, Texas. I am 23 years old and this is Financial Audit. Welcome to Austin. So what do you do for a living over in Houston? I am a part-time assistant manager at actually at a retail store. Okay. How much how much are we making? Um about 15, 14 an hour. For 15, 15 an hour. Yeah, it's 15. Okay. How many hours do you work a week? Part-time? I work about anywhere between 33 to 40 hours a week. So, I mean, you're kind of approaching the world of full-time mostly. Yes. For the main part, yes. Um, whenever I went back, because I worked at this job previously for a little bit, and when I did, when I came back, I requested them f- for um, mo- a little bit more full-time hours. The only reason why I was not given a full-time position was because the full-time position was already taken. Mm, gotcha. And how long have you been in the part-time position? Then? Um, on and off or consecutively? Consecutively. Consecutively, I went back about probably about three months ago. Four uh, months are you ago. trying to get to that upper position that you wanted? Yes, eventually, just because it gives me more um, hours that I actually need to provide for my life, along with uh, just being able to have the benefits with it, because I am almost 25. I'm thinking about insurance and PTO and all that stuff. Sure. Sure. So we had payroll coming in of $2,212. Does that sound about right for a monthly yes. average? Yes. Okay. Now, I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my monopoly go addiction's killing it <laughs> well <laughs> spoiler <laughs> but 2251 dollars came in but 3151 went out <laughs> you, you didn't know that what oh no okay wait i know what it was because it was um i went to I'll tell you what it is I mean, I'll go through your spending. <laughs> no it's called oh. my girls weekend in san marcus it's called what <laughs> my girls weekend in san marcus okay what this was february <laughs> What are you? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> um, I'm a female. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, no, so essentially, I went to February for. I went February. I went to St. Marcus for Girls Weekend, and I had to pay all my bills. No, it's fine. But bill. why are you laughing about it? Because why I get nervous. Like, I get nervous. Okay, it's nerve. It's cope. It's yes, nervous. Yes. <laughs> I, I think people just get nervous under the camera for oh, the first yeah, time, and definitely. of course, you've watched the show for a while, mm-hmm. so there is that little bit of nerves. Yeah. That's okay. So mm-hmm. you know. No hard feelings. Yep. When I hear someone laugh about their spending when they're f-ing themselves, it hurts me deep inside. But <laughs> I get that get it's help. help. I get I that it's help. I'm here to get help, though. Okay. Mm-hmm. So give me a little. Uh, give me a little story on your finances. Uh, well, I was cut off a year ago from my family. Um, yeah, I was cut off about a year ago from my fi- from my normal finances. Uh, normal finances. My parents. My parents supported me for a while. Um, actually, yeah. we well, are twenty three. So. Yes, uh, they well, they were promising to pay for my college and everything, mm. but then I got married. And when I got married, even though, yes, it was set up in the deal already as a kid, my mom told me that if as long as I didn't get married before the age of 25 and I had a degree that um, I wouldn't get financially cut off. It's a bit weird, but she did. Okay. For whatever reason, (laughs) for whatever her reason, her opinion is like that, but it is her money. She Mm -hmm. can choose how she wants to give it. And technically you didn't do what she said to do. So it's looking at it, looking at it now versus whenever it first happened, most definitely a hundred percent was my fault. Um, But where do you live right now? I live with my parents. So you live with them. Yes. So So they are supporting you. Yes. Well, were they giving you financially? Uh, they're not giving me anything financially. What were they giving you? Financially? Oh, they were giving they were giving me um my college tuition, anything for books. Um, whenever I moved out to go to college, they were giving me my apartment fees and everything, mm-hmm. and that they're paying for my apartment, grocery money, anything that was going on with my vehicle, they were giving it to me. Um, and then you got married. Yes. When'd you get married? Uh, I got married back in August. How's it going? He's not here right now. <laughs> Getting- well, you got married last year in August. Yeah, we got married uh, August 23. Oh, okay. So we're... Uh, we're in the process of getting a divorce right now. We are both... In- he's stationed in North Carolina, and he filed in North Carolina because through them, but legally, but he has base legal, so he doesn't have to pay lawyer fees. Why are you getting a divorce so quick? Essentially, um, we got into a really big fight, and... Um, Who get in fights? What was the fight? I had a bad habit of talking to people I probably shouldn't have who I thought were my friends and they would go to him and tell him what I was saying but twist my words. Why were you talking behind his back? Um, Because he wasn't... A sen- I found out later that he was probably paying for OF models, if I'm being honest. What do you mean? Um, like he was paying for OF? Yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% certain. I don't have proof of it. I'm suspecting. Well, that doesn't... Shouldn't you have proof 
of literally anything before yes, and you assume that well, someone did it? He has, um, whenever his Instagram, when, uh, one day I was going through his following on Instagram because this girl had started stuff with us and I decided I'm going to go through your following just to figure out. And at this point, he's in Mississippi on a training exercise for the military. And whenever he tell, whenever he, I go through it, I find a bunch of OF models. And okay. then I'm connecting dots and the dots that I connect essentially are so the reason the reason why we don't have any money two weeks after because he financially took oh. care of he was taking care of me. So the reason why we didn't have money for groceries, gas. Sounded like your parents. Were t- oh, but you got married then. Okay. Yep. I was already married. Then and why didn't you start oh, taking God. care of yourself? Um, I was working a job that was only paying me 13 an hour working probably 14 hours so someone who marries you they're not allowed to watch corn they are allowed to watch corn i don't care my thing is is that whenever you go ahead and blatantly lie to me about it so he was saying he didn't Mm -hmm. but you have no proof that he did Uh, yes correct i have no proof that he did and i also found this i feel like proof is always needed before yes it is yeah it, it be, trust me this story gets way worse so anyway we get into this fight well, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, we'll go into the story yeah. i do want to get into your finances so we uh, yeah, just have course. a little more baseline of course yeah uh so but definitely feel free to save that because mm-hmm. i love a little bit of tea <laughs> in there oh trust me my tea is popping piping hot <laughs> okay well, okay so <laughs> Are you ready to break free from drinking the same boring coffee every single morning? Let's introduce today's sponsor, Trade. With Trade, exceptional coffee finds its way right to your doorstep. Trade levels up your coffee drinking experience by sourcing the finest beans from all over the country and delivering them directly to your door. The coolest part is their new technology, which intelligently aligns your unique taste preferences with a diverse range of over hundreds of coffee flavor profiles. So here's the coffee that was received straight to my house this wasn't even for the sponsorship i've actually been using them since december of uh 2022 personally before they ever reached out to partner and i'm very happy that they are because i use them every single morning and i love them this one fits me more than any other brand because it's called dad bod which gone a little beyond that recently but dad bod I haven't tried this one specifically, but they send me a bunch of new coffee all the time and I grind it and turn it into a delicious cup of coffee every single morning. It's a really exciting way to wake up and I absolutely love them. It's like having your personal coffee concierge. And it's not just about the fancy gadgets. It's the ideal fusion of art and science, marrying industry experience with advanced machine learning technology. And here's the best part. Trade roasts your coffee to order, ensuring delivery at the moment you need it. Freshness guaranteed. I think we can all agree that there's nothing quite like the smell of freshly ground coffee to start your morning. Just in this bag alone, smells absolutely delicious. Click the link in the description below or go to drinktrade.com forward slash Caleb to get your hands on a free bag of roasted to order coffee. There's a little financial tea here. And that is that on this Ulta beauty card. I was working at Ulta at the time, so that's why. Then have opened. them give you money. And not <laughs> them. Well, at the time they were. That was my job in North Carolina. Whenever I lived there, that was my j- job. How, how does that change that they should be giving you money and you not them? Oh, because this is North Carolina. It's okay. Well, no, it's what? because I left that job and I can no longer work for the company of Ulta because I had to have. I literally had to shift. O- that's whenever my divorce happened. Well, whenever I left North Carolina, and when I left North Carolina, it was literally I need to pack my stuff up and leave. What does that? M- I couldn't put I'm just t- asking why you were giving them money instead of them giving you money. Why are you opening a credit card and going into debt to your job? Because I wanted makeup. <laughs> Couple after I just, I have, a, I, if I, whenever I moved to North Carolina, I was alone a lot. And so I used makeup as an artistic coping mechanism. I was going to say you were alone a lot. It's not like anyone was seeing you and making up yeah i just enjoyed it i really did enjoying yeah. explaining what the uh, playing with the colors trying new products that's fun i get yeah. it if we can't afford to pay for it we don't get it yeah no, no. fun's great i haven't bought i haven't i'm really bad at myself because i haven't done the last thing i went, did at ulta was my hair okay but your available credit on that card is 80 dollars. yeah i spent a lot of money on that card because i was only paying the minimum payment because that's all i could afford well not only that but right here <laughs> right i have here, a late payment yeah you have a late payment mm-hmm. Why? I completely, it's based on me what day it was, and I completely forgot about it, and then I got an email, and I was like, I Why aren't you on auto pay? I'll tell you why, because you never have enough money in your checking account, and that's why we see overdraft <laughs> well, fees later. Well, no, so what happened was, um, I've actually been told, I've been advised by people not to have an auto pay, just because if what I don't- f- f- is you that? I- 
my stepdad. Whenever I opened my first credit card, I was like, I'm gonna set up auto pay. And he was like, don't do that because if you don't have the money. Well, you should always have the money in the first place. Yeah. It's basic level foundation. If your stepdad's immediately going like, oh, if you don't have the money, then you're starting from a bad place. Yeah. If you don't have the money, then you shouldn't be getting a credit card in the first place. So your stepdad sounds like a financial idiot. He's not. <laughs> not now. Not now. Well, I'll say that not now. Was that? Yes, he was. Was I? Because I opened my first credit card when I was 19, 20. Yeah, I opened my first credit card when I was 19 or 20. Mm -hmm. And um, that's when I wrote my Discover card. And we talked about it. And I was like, you know, I can just do this, this, and this. And he was like, well, also, if you already have... Because you essentially what he didn't want me to do is set up two payments by accident. Because I am notorious for doing that. Um, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You'd be making progress. It, yes and no. Because at the time, I was living on... I was I'm so, I was somewhat financially independent from my parents at the time, too. Where I could... I was buying my own gas. I was buying, you know, my own clothes. All that type of stuff. They were just paying for more of the necessi necessities, if that makes sense. So, they didn't want me to set up my budget to not have enough money for, essentially, everything else. Oh, you're, you're fine. You are fine. Out. But it takes like a year to get to do <laughs> that. You have to like swipe, uh, open I it, and then brutal. swipe it, and then you have to press it just the right time. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean you haven't spent money on this? Was a f this was like a, just a couple weeks ago, Alta. And before there, oh, where'd we go, Alta? Oh, where'd we go before that, Alta? 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 I opened it in October, and then I haven't spent any money there since January. The end. Basically, the yes, beginning of February. Yes, February, yes. And that was because Basically. I wanted to rebel a little bit and get my hair done. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> rebel? What do you mean rebel? You're rebelling against your future. What uh, are you talking so about rebel? What rebel? My ex-husband loved- Hopefully you're just being silly. I'm not. My ex-husband no. loved blonde hair and loved me with blonde hair. And before it started fading like this, it was a bright red. And I only did a halo. So I kind of justified it with that. It was only a partial highlight. <laughs> You justified it. I justified the purchase because it wasn't what he wanted. Yes, and I didn't look like the woman. What, that have knew. you guys had like a? Has this been toxic? Yes. <laughs> My gosh, you guys have been married for like nine months. Okay. <laughs> well, first of all, I am sorry you're going through that. It's uh, brutal. It's. So we're going through a brutal situation. I want you to leave in the comment below something positive that has happened to you financially <laughs> this year so far. Give her some love as well because she's actually brave enough to come on here. So thank you for that. Of Even course. with all your cope laugh and <laughs> I need help. Late payments. You do need help. And I'm it's and why I'm here is because financially I know I want to be on my own at least within a year or maybe a year and a half. I'm giving myself a maximum of two years and I want to be here because I want to get help. Well, we'll see. If two years seems reasonable, we'll we'll <laughs> I'm we'll it's not set in stone it's just I ha it's an idea I got you okay the minimum monthly payment on this thing is what 37 yes, yes. Payment. and I just paid it two days ago three days ago the minimum yeah good I oh, know I paid it with $50 so slightly above the yeah minimum. slightly above the minimum and I had that one set up discovery on a $1,019.15 I paid that cents. down by $200 actually recently okay like within the past two days I did okay did you tell our producers yes I did and you texted them about it okay. after when I hit the road because I realized because they I got the I got the text message saying thank informed. you for the payment. So eight hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, with a minimum monthly payment of forty two dollars. Yep. Where'd you get that extra two hundred from? Um, work. I had extra. I had um worked at other stores around Houston, okay. and so I ended up getting reimbursed for my miles. And I went into overtime, so I got... But you're also making purchases on here still. If we're having interest accruing $21.89, what are... It's Prime? It's Prime videos and McDonald's and K KFC? At least get food. Like, what are you doing, KFC? So why... Don't get me wrong. You put mm -hmm. more money towards it than you purchase, yes. But you're having interest accrue. And if we're having interest on accrue on a card we cannot fully pay off, why are we going and getting chicken why why are we spending more money on it i need it. it wasn't even needs it was <laughs> bullshit. are you done can i go <laughs> um i need to take my anxiety meds and i need to have something in my stomach because of that so i 
don't I'll eat at home, but I I've changed it. You need to I've eat at home. It. What? That's the I've, answer. The the answer wasn't anxiety meds. The answer I was I don't eat at home. There you go. It wasn't because I have to take anxiety meds. I am on uh, a uh, antidepressant as well for mm-hmm. my uh, panic disorder, and I think I'm probably supposed to take it with food. I don't know, but I eat food at home. I've started doing that now. Like in the past two weeks, I have. Okay. I know it's not a lot, but well, no, I it's get making a little nervous. it's a it's a making it's making a progress. I'm started I started making a progress, and I've started trying to change my financial situation because of how it's looking and how it's going. Because I know that if I want to do anything like that, if I want to be on my own financially independent and everything, I cannot keep spending the way I'm spending. Well, how long have you guys been? When when was the last time you got financial support from someone else? Um, when I had to hire my lawyer. When was that? Um, February. So you're only on your own starting now? No, I was on my own for about a year before. No, you said you were married last year. Yeah, so my parents, they still, we agreed that when we When you guys got married, how long were you like actually together before it started deteriorating? Um, we were actually like spent time together. I also have to ask. Mm-hmm. I have to ask. Sorry, I know we're getting back into the teeth oh, a little fine. bit, but you're it's fine. like. Does it make sense to destroy a relationship in that situation based on a thought of them doing it versus proof? I, I'm going to say uh, this This is going to be cut real quick. Um, oh, yes, this is going to not be on the show. Yeah, well, say he what almost, you can say. Say what you can okay, say. Okay, what I can say. Um, I was put into a really dangerous situation that I did not feel comfortable and safe in anymore. This, yeah. you guys rushed into the. You, oh, you yeah, guys, we rushed into it 100%. Know yourself. How long did you guys know each other before getting married? We knew each other for three years. Well, I'm sorry that you weren't that you were in a position where you didn't feel safe. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, yeah, that's terrible. But mm-hmm. <sighs> your what you your excuses about the spending and making progress, I don't fully believe because this is on the credit card, sure, and mm-hmm. it was just a few. But you forget that I have access to your checking account, mm-hmm. and your checking account was completely different. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, just like, we want to get through this. You come here to get help, but don't like bull me out of the gate. Yeah, of course. And now we have a car. What's the interest rate on this thing? Uh, 11.9796. That's some, that's some death. It's not the most insane by any means, but that's some f-ing. It's a killer. That is not good. I know. What is this? Uh, what is it? 2021 Toyota Camry. Okay. What this total amount to six hundred forty six dollars? Wait a minute. That terrifies the crap out of me. I honestly didn't. That's thirty percent of your income. That wasn't based off of my income. It was based off my ex husband's income. I got the oh. car a year ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. And at the time, whenever this oh. was happening, he was deployed, so he was also getting more money because of that too. Jeez, were you guys even ever together? This is this marriage is so weird. <laughs> You're just talking behind each other's backs all the time. It's just what, what, what even? I'm so confused. Uh, but I'm not. I'm not here. To, I, I don't oh, want to yeah, judge no. your relationship, but also I'm judging your relationship. It was a bad. It was a really bad situation. Oh, the balance. Oh, this is so 30, expensive 000. for your position. Yeah, and I, I know. Hey. F- Oh my gosh! It was uh, based on his income. What? Uh, okay. It. Wait, but you're in the process of a, div- of a divorce. Yes, we're in the process. Has this car come up in conversation around that? Um, essentially, since the uh, since the car is in my name, I get the car. So the car, all the cars, I make the payments, it's everything else. It's completely in your name, but it was based off of his income. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Because that was the only way I was going to get approved for a loan. Because but you shouldn't. You shouldn't have. This was bad. I know. This was bad. What was his income? Um, at the time, um, still over approved for a car. Trust me. I believe he was making approximately about thirty-two a month. Oh, a month. Okay. Well, even still, thirty-two a month. Yeah, it's under forty thousand dollars a year, and they gave you a. Oh, wait, is that his I do not remember his income, if I'm completely honest. If it's even around there, that this is an insane. This is insane. This is insane. Six hundred. Six hundred forty six dollars a month. How have you been paying this? Well, this explains why you're overdrafting on your checking account. Again, spoiler alert. And this is why you're missing your credit card payments, right? Because mm-hmm. this sucks up 30% of your income. 
Okay. Sorry, I just feel bad for you. This sucks. This is such a suck. Um, I'm actually currently in the process of refinancing the vehicle, um, okay. but I still owe 63 months on it because we signed it for the longest that the Toyota that <sighs> Toyota would give it to us. And it's still that much. And month. we ended up um, my bank because I essentially was told by my by uh, I was advised by someone that I should not go through my bank, which is a credit union, because it would be easier for my ex husband to send me money. What? Yeah. And so I am now in the process of... Why does he have to send the money through the account you're using to refinance a car? Be, well, no, it's that was whenever I bought the car. When I bought the car, oh, I was advised... Because I, okay. I wish whenever I, whenever I was in the process of getting my car, because what happened was I had a 2012 Honda Civic and my transmission on that car was going out. And at the time, I was about to move to North Carolina. So I was advised to get a new car because my car would not have made it to North Carolina. Sure, makes sense. And I don't so, know why that equals a $35,000 car we can't afford, but go me, ahead. Trust me, we're getting there. Um, so whenever I went in to go get my car, whenever I went in to go purchase a car, I wanted to buy from the used lot and I wanted to spend no more than twenty five. dollars And um, I, my, and then I was, whenever I went to go pull my loan, um, my, I was advised that I needed to do it a smarter way because if I didn't do a smarter way, my ex-husband would have had a hard time to send me the money to pay the car payments and so now okay. i'm in the process of getting it back into my bank and I'm, I'm in the process of getting my car financed through my bank which is a credit union that's houston based that offered already offered me a seven percent interest rate when i try to refinance so it, it sounds like September. seven's great sure it's it, it is it's a lot better than a lot it is better but is it going to be at that same term uh no what what are you doing then um i currently have to wait till about six more months till oh. it's lower and also so until what's lower until my, so there's a difference between the 63 month and the 60 month that my credit union can give me oh so they're offering a 60 month mm -hmm. okay but they so that's the lower what no that's they the they, lower they, one is 60 months guys it's great what they recommended though is that i wait six more months until a my credit score is a little bit better or b um i have more money to put down chat is this car situation completely f <laughs> yes <laughs> I, so what the minimum monthly payment is not gonna it's gonna hardly change yeah because we're slightly bringing Whenever, down the term the balance isn't gonna change and f the interest rate's gonna drop down a bit but it's still a bad rate yeah um i believe it or any kind of they debt said, especially a depreciating asset whenever they did um the calculator on it, i believe it was approximately about 50 not 59 um 596 what's crazy is Houston, you could work full time in retail if you wanted to right now. Mm -hmm. um, you're living at home, so you don't have rent. But we're still missing payments and overdrafting. This car's ridiculous. This might be a, we haven't done a sell the car type situation in a while. We might be there. We need to get the full picture together in the mm -hmm. end, but we might be there. We ended this checking account with $6.56. How's anyone going to survive on that? Also, what's the point of what's the point of almost any of the spending in here? What's the point of almost any of the spending in here? You come here to learn, you're about to get learned real quick right now about your spending. $6.56 in a checking account. Mm -hmm. God, we mm, Okay. Apple bill. Now these Apple bills we find out. Mm -hmm. What are they? Monopoly Go. Monopoly Go. What, what the f*** do you even spend in Monopoly Go? Why can't you just play Monopoly? Why is it costing, like, l let me buy, 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 buy? Because I get to, like, one thing, and I need just one more thing, and it expires. What? No, no, tell me. Like, what? What are you buying? Dice. Why is it not just Monopoly? Because so it's not just regular Monopoly? No, it's not. So this is, like, a special thing? You don't have it? No, this sounds terrible. Look what you're spending on it. Why would I have that? Okay, so it has dice, and then you take your dice, and you roll, and you go around a Monopoly board, and as you're, like, you collect money and everything, you build up a land, and then, yeah, and you get more dice. And then when you're getting more dice, you get, like, prizes, like, shields, people, characters. Shield? Yeah. This is, what is this? This is not Monopoly. That is Monopoly. It's like, because people come, because whenever you log out of your game and everything, people can come in onto your board and knock down your territories. The, what the f is this, is this like civilization? Like Monopoly version? Yes, basically. Yes, okay. Great, well, loot crates and everything. Oh wait, I think that one was actually for a movie I bought. Monopoly made by EA, my gosh. <laughs>
Well, yeah. Okay, so maybe a movie, Whiskey River, some rodeo retail, some Monopoly, Karen's Creations. Sounds like the creations I'd want from someone like that. Whiskey River, Whiskey River, Whiskey River, Whiskey River, Whiskey River, Whiskey River. Well, we went there like five se- every five seconds of our life. We went to Michael's. Great. We're doing some arts. We're doing some arts and crafts. But guess what? We don't have enough money in our checking account. So, great. Great time to do arts and crafts. Oh, and we're playing Monopoly Go. Then we're playing Monopoly Go. Then we're playing Monopoly. 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 Chick-fil-A. We grabbed our Chick-fil-A and our caffeine from Starbucks so that we could go play some Monopoly Go. And then Amazon Prime, Chick-fil-A, House of Sp- Is there anything on here that's a necessity? This is every, every line. Every line's highlighted. Every line's highlighted. Every line's highlighted. Every line's high. What is this? Monopoly? Oh, oh, we're back. Monopoly? Audible. So we listen to some audiobooks uh, that we can't afford while we gamble on Monopoly that we can't afford. Chipotle. Best donuts. Well, I'm glad they're the best ones. Monopoly. Monopoly. NGR Stadium. What? Did you go watch Monopoly Live or something? <laughs> no, Rodeo. Vapor? <laughs> I know that's hard to quit, but... F- for your existence and for your money dutch bros was that for my vape or was it for my well, I, don't know. Vape. I, I don't know it says imperial vapor that was most likely for at the time it was for drinks because they sell drinks over there too oh, that makes more sense then moving out money doordash buddy if we can't pay our f-ing minimum monthly payments we're not doordashing if we can't afford to live on our own and we have to rely on our parents we're not doordashing I have no problem with parents taking care of their kids. I have no problem with someone moving in back home after uh, a bad experience, a divorce, everything like that. But that's when we get our together. We don't just... You're spiraling. McDonald's. Sushi. Well, that actually... Are you a nurse? No, yeah. you're not. I already know what you do. Yeah. So what is this? Um, oh, you're getting like scrubs? No, that's actually my job. Is my job, and I paid the, and I I needed to buy compression socks because I need to get some boot, some socks okay. for my boots. Yeah, so that okay. was actually. So we finally have one line item out of this entire thing that is important. Amazon, Pop Belly, Prime Video, Amazon. <gasps> oh, oh, we went back to sc- House of Sports. Oh, here we go. So it waited for us the entire. One hundred fifty dollar overdraft fee. Yeah. I know. Why would you let it get to this? Um, I Your was... spending's ridiculous beyond belief. Some some of the most insane spending I've ever seen in my life. I was in a really bad spot. So this is the cope. This is the cope. I cope with trying to... I'm going to cry, sorry. It's a natural, natural feeling. Um, You're going through something rough. And your outlet was trying to feel good via those dopamine hits through yep. the different but, loot crates. So what it was is essentially that um, the reason why like I was eating a lot and everything else was because I didn't know how to cope with it. Even though, like, yes, I have a therapist and I see her. Um, good. And my my stepdad's insurance actually pays for it, so like it's not coming out of my account or my mom's account. But um, I I I wanted to not be home a lot because I just didn't want to I didn't want to have to sit down and have to deal with it because so when you're going and buying this fast food you're sitting there and eating I'm sitting in my car yeah okay what about the monopoly there's other there's issues there if you'd like thank you we can take a break as well if you need yeah can we take one yes of course of course okay I'm good I'm really sorry that you've <laughs> been through what you've been through I'm really sorry that at such a young age you know you thought maybe you found the one that we we're in a relationship that sounds like and there were th- some things that were cut and that's okay but that was quite toxic and harmful and we fell out of our marriage almost immediately and then we're left with this massive financial burden that it was a stupid mistake to take through yeah. the marriage even with his income but either way now it's all laid on us yeah. and the coping uh, where are you doing the monopoly go stuff at um on my phone yeah, well, yeah, but like, is that when you're home? Yeah, is like that your whenever, distraction when yeah, you're home? Whenever I'm home, when I'm watching TV. Okay. So, yep, there's your rejected item fee, rejected item fee, rejected item fee, overdrafting, $35, $35, $35. I mean, dude, you're, f- you're trying to pay for something there. Chimmies. 
Monopoly Go when we were well, also um, Monopoly Go when we had negative twenty one dollars. So that so that so that Apple Bill one mm -hmm. is actually um, my Peacock streaming service. There's nothing even on there, dude. <laughs> I know. This the ten eighty ones for my Peacock. Out of, out of all the ones to overdraft with, something that doesn't have anything to watch. I mean, but Peacock gives me my Law and Order, so. So we're Law and Order. Mm, so and Brooklyn Nine Nine. Everyone needs a comfort show. Yep, that's one of mine, along with Criminal Minds. And then IHOP, that's what took us under. The IHOP took us under. Dr. Pros, the vault, this is just continues. Our spending, even with the, uh, I get, I, at least we understand now why. There's a why behind. It's the Cope, Mystic Marks, Crocs, Wingstop, Dutch Bros, Chili's, Kalashis, Sephora. I also know what my habit is too, is at the moment my bank account gets money, I run with it. Mm -mm. Okay. I don't stop. No, then I have to ask. Then mm -hmm. you said I know my habit is. Mm -hmm. If you know that's your habit, what have we done to try to counteract that and try to um, better ourselves? In most recent weeks, like not even just my recent week, probably like two weeks ago, I started doing this because whenever I hit one hundred fifty dollars negative in my account, I knew I needed to get help, and I knew I needed to start helping. That's him. when you reached out. Yes. Okay, but that was halfway through the month. Yeah. Or through the statement. And your statement leads up to almost just a few days yeah. ago. Which, by the way, mm -hmm. again, calling out. I know, I know. Um, you're, you're, you kind of, you bullshit at the beginning. What do you mean? You said these last few weeks I've stopped and I'm just eating at home. Well, these statements do not reflect that. What date is on the statements? This gets all the way up to like almost a week ago. A week ago? What was I Pretty doing? Pretty close to ago? it. What was I doing a week ago? A lot of it was the Monopoly stuff, which that's sure that's not going out to eat, but... Yeah. Most of it isn't just going out to eat. It's my Monopoly go-to, I know. Well, it, but it could be a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It can be a lot of things. It's not only putting calories in your body. So there's more Monopoly, Chick-fil-A, Kalashi Factory, McDonald's, McDonald's, door dashing, <laughs> F with B. I don't, I don't think FWB that? is what that typically means. I uh, know, me neither. I'm <laughs> like, what... <laughs> Is that DC FWB? Hmm. I don't know what that, that was. Imperial Vape Dutch Bros. Do you vape? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Well, I I was hoping that you didn't because of the you said it was just for drinks. Yeah, some like the smaller purchases I know are for drinks and everything, but I don't. I'm trying to quit right now. Well, that's an incredibly hard habit, and you have my sympathy mm -hmm. well, for the longevity of your life, man. Yeah. That's also another coping mechanism I have. It's better than oh, absolutely scratching my skin off. Mm. I'm gonna take a quick drink of water, real quick. By the way, please hydrate. We love hydration. Imperial Vapor Company. This is in. This is their campus checking. Mm -hmm. There's more Monopoly and Poke and TP Blackrock. Apple. Uh, yeah, Monopoly, Monopoly, mm -hmm. Chipotle, Monopoly, 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 Monopoly. That, that guy was out of anger. That was out of anger. I know exactly what you thought because I remember how afterwards. Um, that's the. Did someone come down and like tear a house down? No. What happened was so my ex husband, I get paid alimony for my ex husband. And um, he had sent me money and I forgot what he did that day, but he made me pissed off. And so I was like, it's not my money, it's his money, I'm gonna spend it. <laughs> okay. And you spent it on Monopoly. Oh, okay. That man in his funny little hat is controlling your life. Yes. It's like Uncle Sam. People have requested that I do a live Q&A for a while now, and I'm excited to announce that I finally am. On Wednesday, March 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. West Coast, we have an exclusive live Q&A for anyone taking or has already taken our budgeting program. It has changed thousands of people's lives, and we're constantly receiving testimonials from those saving money and fixing their financial future, showing that we made the best budgeting program in the history of the internet at the best price. Sign up using the link in the description below and join me for the Q&A where I answer your questions live. And three hundred five dollars is the current balance and, and the savings. Mm -hmm. well, that we was took from, out like all our money and then we put some in. So was that was like, from today. That was a screenshot from today because I got paid a couple days ago. And so you put some in. Yes. It's a good starting spot. I can appreciate that. So $2,251, it's going to be hard to live off of in general if we ever try to move out. And you uh, certainly need to, at some point, when you feel ready, mm -hmm. get life on the move. But we're making under $30,000 a year. Yep. Um, so my previous job, I was, my stepsister was getting married. 
in May. And then my parents and I decided, my parents and I went to Scotland that year in 2022 um, because my mom was running a half marathon in Scotland and they were paying for everything. Okay. So I was the only thing I was going to pay for was going to be essentially like the stuff I wanted, but like my housing and my flight was well booked for and everything. So I didn't have to pay a thing for it. Um, so we were going to Scotland for two weeks and then my stepsister was getting married a week after that. So um, I went into work one day and I just, I sat my boss down. I was like, hey, this is what's going on in the month of May. I know it's super busy. And essentially I was like, I can work, you know, book me for double days, but my stepsister is getting married. Mm-hmm. I kind of need to be there. She's my family. Sure. And um, my boss essentially asked me if I could push back her wedding a bit weird we're only hearing your side of the story yeah that is okay yeah so i then was like i i can't do that because and also at the time too i was really stressed out because of school and everything so i quit my job um and i was unemployed for probably about three months and then i picked up um, when was this 2022 oh okay and then i went to work at a customer service rep position and then i had to leave it because of college in January, and then I went back to retail. Okay, or or were you making? I mean, you're in college at the same time, right? Um, when I was in, when I went back to retail, or whenever I was at the customer service rep position. Did you try to get someone to cover your shift? Um, that's usually ske- what happens in the re- schedule retail wasn't food. even made yet. This, I, I sat her down six months in advance to talk about it. Oh, this was six months in advance. I mm-hmm. thought you said like this far. Okay. Oh no. And, so like you if you we're just looking at it, quit uh, and walked away. No, I put in my two weeks, and then I walked away. Yeah. So yes, technically yes, that's what it is. Is right now the most you've ever made? No. What was the most you've ever made? Um, about twenty four hundred a month, so a little bit under. Okay. So you've I, never but at really the time, made at much. the time too, at the time too, I had never had been in this financial situation. Um, whenever I was making twenty four a month, it was, was my it? car was paid off, everything. What you did then is what you did then. All that matters is you've grown. We've all made mistakes in the past. That's a f- I'm not defining you based on what you did two years ago. I mean, you're 23 right now. I mean, it doesn't... It's okay. We don't need to go back in your history because what defines you is what you do right now. And I'm not going back and digging through your past. I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> I've had that happen to me a couple of times. And then they come up to me and they ask me certain questions. I'm just like, why did you go through that? <laughs> really like what <laughs> um this one guy asked me one time um oh well like did you go to this high school because there's a picture of me at one of their homecoming games and i was like no i went to this one they're like oh that makes more sense on why you have this photo on your twitter and i was like oh, you stalked gosh. my all my social medias i i judge you for what you're doing now of course what you're doing now not what you did then you know <laughs> People expect perfection your entire life. Mm-hmm. What you're doing now matters. What you're doing going forward is what matters. And that's what defines your life. Mm-hmm. What scares me is your income situation. I just feel like we're going to need to. I mean, yeah, just like with most guests on the show, I'm happy to. I don't know if it's what you want to work in, but I'm happy to offer you a certification through Course Careers, which is, um, you know, can help land positions in tech career. T- typically, it's better for like a resume boost, but. I'm actually in the Wait, process. I'm in. I'm actually currently in the process of possibly getting another job soon. What? Um, a customer service reposition. I'll be going back to the same okay. company. I'd be actually bringing in a lot more. Yeah. What? Um, I have to do the math real quick. About thirty six a month. Okay. Yeah. No, that's progress. Yeah. That's absolutely progress. That I they were currently in the middle of doing some stuff with their company, so I was not able to uh hear back from them. I'm actually supposed to call the person who's gonna be my boss and talk to him about it and see if I got in for a second interview. Three thousand bucks a year. Definitely not terrible for t- uh twenty three. Mm-hmm. Did, did you complete college? Uh not yet. No, I have an associate, so well, it's, okay. Well, so how far are you away from a bachelor if you go back? Um, I'm currently back, actually. Um, I believe I'm only about a year and a half out from getting my bachelor's. I mean, if we if we go and we try to get a degree or a certification or anything, it's like <coughs> we commit to that, but we have to get our finances in order as well. In terms of the beginning of the conversation, you were like, yeah, hee hee hee, my friends, hee hee hee, we went down to San Antonio and we got, you know, f***ed up, hee 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 hee. Yeah. Like that 
That's stupid. That was very stupid of me. We can't, like, deflect and put blame on other people for our own choices yeah. going forward. Like, that's not going to be something that I'm going to, like, just sit mm-hmm. here and be okay with. That should, not, that should not be something that you're okay with. I'm not. I try not to be, at least. Like, we need to know when to stand up for ourselves and say, I can, I just can't afford this, you know? Mm-hmm. The future of my life matters. Yeah, I know. And I I'm have, trying to do good. I know I have a really bad problem of not saying no. And I, like, a couple of days ago, I just started doing it because I was scared of what everyone was going to think of me. I had a really bad case of FOMO. And I just, I didn't want to miss out on anything that anybody was doing. <sighs> That's okay. And then, but then, it was, like I said, that whole 150 being being under $150 in my account, I have never felt so helpless in my life. Yeah. And I felt like crap reaching for out for money and reaching out for help because I needed it. Let that be the bottom. Everyone who's going not only through bad things, but are doing bad things, making mistakes, which <clears throat> I know you've been through a lot and been through bad things, but you're also making a ton of mistakes mm-hmm. with your own spending. Everyone needs to find their rock bottom yeah. to crawl their way up. I found my rock bottom mm-hmm. years and years ago, and I've crawled my way back up. It is an okay place to be. I want that to have been it. I don't want to see your rock bottom be two years from now. God, no. Let this be it. Let this be your wake-up call, man. It is. That's why I'm here is because I'm good. I need help. I feel like I'm on like intervention or something right now. Just like. That's essentially what the show is. It's yeah. it's it's a financial kitchen, intervention. It's the kitchen nightmares. I'm calling out yeah. all the bull to try to get the gears in work. It's not mm-hmm. an investing show. Some people want it to be that. I don't mm-hmm. know why. I mean, you would probably give like a really good talk about like how to invest money. Well, you can, there's certifications necessary for that. There's not certifications uh, necessary for this. So if you do go back to college, though, I I, I hope you land this job. Well, first of all, this job. Okay, sorry. Mm-hmm. A few things I want to ask. This job. How likely are you to land it you said you're in the process of it um i feel confident about it um okay so it's not you haven't been offered yeah i have not been offered yet officially um so we're not gonna rely on it but the good thing is what whenever the corporate office interviewed me they saw already that i had worked there and i feel really confident about it i'm not a hundred percent certain just right now they because this was about a month ago no three weeks ago they interviewed me Okay. So if you do go back to college, how do you plan to play for it? Um, currently, I have a f- I applied for FAFSA um, and I okay. pay with it with the Pell Grant because I'm an online school. I'm an LSU online. So I, as long as I take. S- What's the price of LSU online? $400 per credit hour. Okay. And my Pell Grant covers majority of it. Okay. Like, I don't, like, if I was only taking, the only reason why I've taken two classes this semester is because I didn't go in for spring one, which would put me at my my limit I need to be at to keep my Pell. I have to take two classes this semester just because if I don't, I'm then in jeopardy of losing my Pell grant, which means I'd have to wait a whole other year to get it back again. Are you going to have to take out any debt? Um, yes for this okay, for only for this semester so only for this why semester. only this semester um because that because i have to keep my pell if i can keep my pell um i if i lose my pell i have to wait a whole other year but if i can keep my pell i can go back well, why do you have to borrow though um because it's gonna cost probably about if with, you're not if, with, if this is online though and you're living at home yeah why not cut back all your you spending and try to cash flow i've been trying yeah, that hasn't been yeah, trying. Yeah. Come on, yeah. don't f- with me. <laughs> it's not a joke. Don't f- with me. If we're having the conversation, you're here. Mm-hmm. So get a wake up call. You already said you are. I'm great. F- awesome. That's awesome. Don't, don't f- with me. Don't try to. Don't. Don't, don't f- with me. Mm-hmm. Just acknowledge your sh- and that's okay. You can walk away and do better from here. But don't be like, oh, I'm doing great. I'm not doing great. <laughs> um. No. So I, I am going to take out a loan just because of me needing to keep my pill cash you have you don't make a ton but your expenses are basically nothing except for the car yeah fine let's do your budget and we'll see where your expenses are here's where your spending was by the way reminder you spent a thousand dollars more than you brought home mm-hmm. but of that spending debt payments was 20.5 percent or 646 dollars 33 cents your phone total was 2.7 percent or 86 dollars and five cents what's your phone plan uh t-mobile 50 dollars, but i'm also paying off a brand new phone uh, when you're done paying that off do helium it's 20 bucks a month uses the same towers transportation 1.3 or 40 dollars and 14 cents it's probably gas no, do you have car insurance mm, yes yes i do i do have car insurance 
I do. Where's the payment? My parents paid for it. Okay, that's okay. Because I accidentally linked up their bank account. Well, you say they don't help you, but come on, they're, they're putting a roof over I'm, your head. They're I'm, paying for car insurance. They are helping me, um, but I'm paying them back currently for the car insurance. Oh, so you're in debt to them? Yes. How much? Um, as of right now, a thousand. Because that's how much my car note was. That's how much my car insurance was. Yeah, but that's gonna come back. Car insurance isn't a one-time payment. I know. I'm currently in the process of getting a new car insurance. Oh. Uh, food. There it is. 16.3% of your spending are $513.28. That can go towards college. Unknown shopping. 7.1% are $223.81. Mostly Amazon through that. Oh, here we go. There's a f- monopoly. Loot crates. 29.1% of your spending or $917.43. That's f- that's 9% higher. 9% higher than you put towards your debts. Improving your life. Getting out of debt. Making sure you're able to move on. Making sure you could cash flow school. Making sure that you are able to retire and not die on the Walmart floor. Instead, Monopoly. Other large purchases, 21.4% or $675. <laughs> the, the percentages work me up. This is, it just kills me. You're throwing away your future. It, it just kills me. But I get why. Your logic wasn't incorrect. It's still bad decisions, but it's, it still kills me. Yeah, your gas was 40 14 Grocery shopping, $25. $25. That's all that went to HEB. $25. And then we just ate out oh that was because i needed just to get my medicines i don't pay for my groceries my parents do oh yeah <clears throat> unknown shopping 57 dollars seven cents from amazon and walmart 161 dollars 33 cents and we know none of those are groceries because you just said you don't pay for groceries so we may as well throw them in the column meaning bullshit. well let me look at the uh, large payments scrubs would be on those for work would atm withdraw 120 we don't know where that went Oh, that went to my nail lady because she doesn't pay. You pay her cash, not my card. Oh, oh, your miscellaneous B- BS wasn't even, wasn't, it wasn't even the monopoly. It was f-ing Amazon Prime, Rodeo, Vapes, Buckles, Carols, Tattoos, Crocs, That's when I read Sephora, it. House of Sports. And then in the other large purchases, you had $471.77 on Monopoly. That means out of this pie chart, out of this pie chart, 70% at a minimum of your spending, 70% went to, went to bull, like legitimate bull, that doesn't matter. It was a cope. Yes, I get it. But f- need to call it out because that is, is a disgusting percentage that is going to hold your life back. That is going to prevent you from living the life that you can live if you actually choose to get your sh- together. Why do you think I'm here? Is to get my sh- no, together. I know, but I got to yell about your actions right in front of me because this is just f- ridiculous. 70%. <laughs> It's making me have to cough. I'm choking on your 70%. That's what she said. Sorry. $40 for gas. So uh, this $1,000. Are you doing a minimum monthly payment to your parents? Uh, How's this working? Uh, we haven't drawn up any official, like, like because my parents are going to give me a contract, and we haven't done that yet. <laughs> because I, I yeah. Oh. 2251 82 for our income. Debt minimum monthly payments. We don't know because we don't have whatever that's going to be. Then you got to prepare for your new car insurance. This is going to take a big chunk out of this. You ever got a ticket? No. Good. Car crash? Uh, no, that one fell off. Good. So, debt minimum monthly payment. Shocker. Pretty much completely the car, but a little bit more from the two credit cards. $725.37. Don't pay anything for rent. Do you pay anything for utilities or internet, or is it all covered? All covered. That's incredible. Good. Phone total. What was it? It was like. S- uh, that's only for one month because uh, there was a credit in my account. What's it normally? One thirty. 
Oh. Because, okay, so what happened was my ex-husband was paying for my phone bill. And then oh right before he left, right before, right about like two months ago, he told me that essentially he was going to switch over. My, he was going to give me my own line. Well, whenever I went to go pay for my phone line for the month, he didn't switch over the equipment, which was the actual phone itself. Because literally the two, three nights right before um, the big fight that caused me to leave, um, he told me to go get a new phone. So I had this brand new spanking new phone. And so I'm paying for my phone line and paying off my phone right now. Okay. Toilet paper phone. Everything you need to survive, it's less it's, than you need. Uh, it's less than usual because you have a lot of sh covered mm -hmm. <clears throat> with the family. $75 a month. Groceries. Groceries. If you chose to only eat at home and pack sandwiches and take them with you, will your parents pay for it or are you going to pay for some? I'll pay for some. Do you need to pay for some or will your parents pay for it? My parents will pay for it, but I will. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um, I will pay for it, but most likely I will pay for some. I'm getting 150 bucks. It's a guess. Mm -hmm. It's a guess. What was your phone again? One more time. 130. Okay. Because I just paid that two days ago. Gotcha. Ongoing prescription. What was it? 25 bucks. Mm-hmm. Gym? Anything like that? No. Because uh, canceling all subscriptions. What's pe what was Peacock? Like How much ten dollars. Okay, Peacock. That's it. You get to pick one ten dollars subscription. Mm -hmm. That's all you get. <laughs> so this should be this should be your needs are so minimal except for your debt. So this should be simple. That we should be able to get through this budget, unlike a lot of people. How many calculators do you go through a week? Because it seems like you push them very angrily. Numbers are stressful. <laughs> But I've never broken one, somehow. <laughs> $1,155.37 is what you need to survive. Congratulations, you make double that. There should be no issues here. Should be no issues here. Does this mean you could go out and rent? Probably not. On this income, that's going to be hard. On this income with that debt. If you did not have the car debt, mm -hmm. yes, we can afford a rent. A cheap, uh, a cheap place to mm -hmm. rent. First, what do we have remaining? One thousand ninety six forty five. Okay, that's your grand leftover. Y'all, this is the time to switch to my favorite high yield savings account. With SoFi, you can get 4.6% on your money. I hate when my money is just losing value, so make sure you're keeping up with inflation at the very least. You can also get FDIC insurance on that money up to $2 million with them. Plus, they'll give you money up to $300 when you set up an account with them. There's even extra perks like being able to get paid a couple days early. SoFi is what I use when I'm setting money aside, and it is the banking app of the future. Sign up, link in the description below. I always want my money to be making more money, so don't lose money on yours. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Hey, producer, Mr. Noah producer, take her VIN that has been blacked out on this document, get the unredacted version, look it up, in uh, just good condition on KBB. Give me the car value. And we'll take a pause while he does that. Okay. We can hydrate. <laughs> I think whenever we looked it up, it was approximately 30. Huh? Whenever we looked it up, it was approximately 30. Because we, okay. we looked it up whenever I first came back to Texas. When was that? November. Okay, we're going to get a current value. Yeah. Because we were trying, because originally we were like, let's get this car traded in. That was the original plan with it. And then, yes, I did. And here's a word from our sponsor. Calculators. You can beat them. You can type numbers. And they'll give you numbers back. The, whenever I first came back, they were, we were looking into it and everything. And I was owing, I would have, uh, I would have had a bigger loan takeout than, I would have had a bigger loan takeout than actually on the card now yes but i think if we can get a decent valuation on this car mm -hmm. i think we could actually save you a sh make it just heartburn yeah and years. stress i have so many gray hairs from this car no your hair's pink <laughs> thank you uh thirty-six thousand nine hundred and eighteen. that's incredible for a 2018 car 29 2021 oh okay uh 77479 <sighs> the car's worth 80,000. You said 30? No, no, 30 on it, yeah. yeah. The math is not math. Oh, when did you buy this? Uh, April of last year. You got f 
sucked. I know I did. I bent over and took it like the person I was. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Please. This is a finance show, don't you know? Can't make jokes. Okay, well, typically what I'd want to do is like... Sell the car. Well, I'll give the whole... Mm-hmm. You sell... Well, you, you take a loan out, a personal loan out for... It's not going to make sense in your situation. Gosh. So what you would need to borrow is... You would need to borrow $12,656, but then you'd have to borrow an additional $10,000 to get a car that's going to last you a bit, which is... You'd have to borrow $22,656, which, uh, you know... Yeah, that saves you $8,000... So, if that's worth it to you, that's mm-hmm. something you could do. If you can even qualify for that, <laughs> like personal loan or anything. But you essentially borrow the difference, mm-hmm. then s- uh, sell the car for that value, pay off the loan, and then you also have an additional $10,000 that you borrowed. And you then get a $10,000 car in cash that will, well, cash, it's the loan. But you're just, you're getting a car that's safe and reliable and will last a few years. You know, get certified by a couple mechanics. Wow, that saves you eight thousand hours. Which, uh, technically, in this system, if we cut down completely to necessities, is eight months. Mm-hmm. That is eight months. You, sh- if you refinance down this to seven percent, that's still a bad. It's not. It's not as bad as you are now, interest rate wise. But it is not a good interest rate, and it's not a depreciating asset at sixty months long, which. You're just hoping, luckily you have low miles on this car, but you're just hoping and hoping and hoping nothing happens. Mm-hmm. KPB usually undervalues cars anyway. so you I might do be able have to get gap it. insurance too on that car right now. So if anything does happen to it, anything that's left over in that loan will be paid for by the insurance. Even if you do sell it, you might get an extra $2,000 more than KPB suggesting because mm-hmm. sometimes they kind of undervalue cars. So that's an option worth considering yeah. depending how much work you want to put in that versus how much work you want to put into paying off debt. But what I am 100% doing first month, setting aside that extra you have, I'm living on my minimum necessities Mm -hmm. for a little bit, paying, uh, setting that aside, one month emergency fund. Cool. Mm -hmm. Then next month, I'm paying off Alta and most of Discovery. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just wiping Discovery after that. Then the month after that, month number four, I'm paying back parents totally. Okay. And that's that. Now, that might ebb and flow based on do you start picking up car insurance and what does that eat out of your budget? Mm -hmm. And you know what? Actually, I I take it back. I am doing the personal loan. I am bringing it down to $22,000 of debt. Not Mm -hmm. good debt, bad debt. Might be higher interest rates. But why am I doing that? Because right now your minimum monthly payment's insanity for the length of the loan uh, and for the current interest rate of the loan. And what I would be doing for then... Again, maybe you get the customer service job. It's great. I'm putting up oh, the Pell Grant. How many hours are you going to be able to work? Um, with school? I can still work the same amount. And then take Because that job would be a 9 to 5, so I would be out of work at 5 o'clock, 5.30 by the latest, go home, eat dinner, and then do school. It take Okay. Completely online. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. LSU online. It takes still takes two years to pay off the car. At your current income. If you're able to boost your income with this other job, maybe you take care of the $22,000 in a year and a half, year and a quarter. In which case, it would be, if you do that in a year and a quarter, which would be incredible, I think more a year and a half, then this is a total two-year month pro- two year process. Mm-hmm. Then let's call another four months if you go aggressive to save up a six-month emergency fund. Mm-hmm. So, that's probably how long you're staying at home is until you're 25. Okay. 25 and a half. Mm-hmm. I figured maybe right 26. around there, definitely with this economy right now and what apartments have been looking like in Houston. This economy, what, what does that mean? I uh, feel like that's the like, excuse that people well, just no, throw out. So up. whenever I was looking at, whenever I, whenever I first moved back and everything, I was trying to get a plan together so I could sit down with my parents and be like, this is my plan. Um, and when I did a one bedroom apartment um, in Houston and even like in the Richmond area, which is like on the outskirts of Houston, um, was about fifteen to twelve hundred dollars a month just for the base pay of the apartment. Okay, so you're just talking about the rental situation, yeah. and the rental situation is actually cheaper and more affordable compared to housing prices than it's like been in decades. So yeah. that's saying something. Mm-hmm. 
but I have been keeping an eye on that too, just so I can adjust my plan as well. My, and I've six, not been following that plan at once all. Once you get the six month emergency fund, mm-hmm. you're gonna have to adjust your six month emergency fund to what it's gonna be after you include rent as well. Okay. So it might take closer to three years, mm-hmm. and that is totally fine. If at that point you are 26 years old, you have a degree, you're moving out. You're doing all these things. You can start investing. You still have a lot of time for compound growth. You have a lot of decades left. Mm -hmm. You have chances to meet more people, make better friends that aren't all gossipy behind the back crap. You have a chance to meet the love of your life. You have, there's a lot of life to be lived. Mm -hmm. Sacrificing for three years gets your financial life. You can start then maxing out 401ks, open Roth IRAs. uh, So actually, I had a question for you about that, actually. What is better, 401k or a Roth IRA? Well, a lot of workplaces, you can get a Roth 401k. 401k and typically that comes with the match mm-hmm. uh, every, sometimes people will say and I, this is less so these days but like maybe because of the limited options within a 401k sometimes a Roth IRA can be better if you want to get a little fancy 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 mm-hmm. uh, and sometimes the fees are a little more in a 401k if you have limited options that's what on. my stepdad has is a Roth IRA right now well you should have both in reality okay so I mean what I would want to see Mm-hmm. is try to contribute as much max out your author a minimum take the contribution at all times in your 401k um you can even like i even buy five percent of my portfolio is mm-hmm. this is not advice but my portfolio is five percent in individual stocks through like moo mm-hmm. that's just another thing i like to play with so there's a lot of options okay that's like three years down the road okay. so i'm yeah. happy to talk with you about it then mm-hmm. but for now i think this is a three-year process if you increase your income, if not, it's going to be a four to five year process. Okay. So that job, if you don't get that job, apply to similar jobs like it. Okay. Uh, take resume building things online, you know, mm-hmm. use a program, get it peer reviewed by someone. There's a lot we can do to improve your situation. So okay. that's my diagnosis. What do you think your financial score is today? Um, a three out of 10. Mm-hmm. If you want your hammer financial score, you can get it for free in the link. I think it's in the description below. Let's get your hammer financial score. Spending in budget was some of the worst I've ever seen. 75% of when we have debt and we're missing payments, Mm -hmm. zero out of 10. Debt, I want to do a zero because you're missing a payment, but I'm not going to go that route. But with that car to your income, it's not any better than a three out of 10 emergency fund. Technically, you put a little bit towards it now. Mm -hmm. $300, so one out of 10 retirement. There's nothing, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, zero out of 10. Real estate's nothing, zero out of 10. So right now, your Hammer Financial Score rounded up is a 1 out of 10. Make sure to check out all the links in the description below. They are resources that I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet. Today on the Financial Audit Post Show. And over time, I was noticing more and more lies were coming to light. That's also whenever I found the text messages, too, between. Mm. He said some really messed up things to me sure. that I was like, what the heck? To watch the financial audit post show and follow up episodes, click the join button below.